Hi, this is Kevin Langan with Keller Williams Realty East Valley and the Kevin Langan team. Thanks for taking a look at my video today. Today we're going to be talking about the top three seller tips in any market. Before we begin, I'd like to draw your attention to two links on my blog. Click here if you're thinking about buying a home and click here if you're thinking about selling a home. Now let's get back to our topic. So today we're going to talk about the top three tips for selling your home in any market. And the first one is going to be preparing your home for the market. And what we do for that is we would bring in a professional staging and interior design consultant to sit down with you and, and walk through your home to look at the things that should be pre-packed, put away, and then put out some things on, on the countertops and in the bathrooms that'll just give little accents and touches to help the buyers visualize the space decluttering and making sure your home smells good and the lights are on it presents well is very very important for the presentation of the home so the second thing that we can do to make sure you're maximizing the profit on your home sale is thinking about upgrades and specifically what to do and then also what not to do typically sellers will paint because it's cheap paint is twenty dollars in the can and it's a thousand dollars on the wall that's what i always say so neutral colors, the gray tones are really popular these days. And when you do a staging consultation, make sure to ask the interior designer about what colors complement the finishes that you have in your home. The second thing you can do is paint your cabinets and install new hardware in the kitchens and the bathrooms. And then also think about countertops. Oftentimes this can give your home an updated look and it won't break the bank with replacing all the cabinets and doing a complete remodel. So that's very, very important for you to maximize the profit on your home sale. The third thing to do is picking your asking price. Now, choosing an asking price is extremely important because the asking price does not dictate the selling price. We've all seen homes that have sat on the market with a price reduction every other week for many months. And what happens statistically when a seller chooses to overprice their home statistically they end up selling for less money and they end up burning money with holding costs over a long period of time so when you choose your asking price be sure to have a professional guide you through that process so that you're not leaving any money on the table that you should be taking with you at the end of the day so thanks for watching my video today if you're thinking about buying a home or you're thinking of selling please give me a call or send me an email and i'll be sure to schedule you for a free consultation have a great day